So welcome to the Rope Trading Community's video and this is your upthrust action bar video and how to trade them. So technically in this video I'll be explaining both theoretical and a practical part of upthrust action bar and how to trade them in the form of both intraday and swing trading. Okay, because a lot of people out there they might have had different types of entries when it comes to both intraday and positional but I'm going to show you the importance of upthrust action levels and how to use them effectively in the markets. Now before starting the video, I have a small announcement to each and everyone out there is that recently most of you asked some of the questions regarding whether I'm hosting courses for volume spread analysis or not. The actual reason why I'm not hosting courses because first thing we have started our YouTube channel just on this October 2021 that's third week I started uploading the videos and right now what I'm thinking like I want to give more content first. Okay, I want to make sure I educate all my subscribers out there first with all the theoretical part and all the they have to know how volume spread analysis work. They have to know how Elliott wave works and they have to know how I trade in the markets. First, I'm going to make sure I'm going to complete all these things. Then I'll be hosting the public courses for volume spread analysis. Okay, but before that, if you want to learn volume spread analysis from me directly, like just right now from this moment. I'll be hosting a one-on-one -on -one session to any students out there. If you're a beginner out there who wants to learn BSA from me directly, I'll be hosting from Monday to Friday. You can contact me via WhatsApp. Uh, number will be in the description. Just, you can just go ahead and message me and I'll give you the dates from Monday to Friday any week. Okay, every single week I'm available from Monday to Friday, one to one and a half hour. I'll take the sessions and I'll completely teach you both intraday and swing trading in the form of VSA. Okay, so now let's get started with the upthrust action bar. Now, what is upthrust? Let's complete the theoretical part, then I'm going to explain the practical, okay? Upthrust can be recognized as a widespread bar with high volume and the close on the low. Upthrusts are usually seen after a rise in the market where the markets have now become overbought and there is a weakness in the background. The dynamic of upthrusts are interesting and quite brutal. The price is being hold as long as possible, then price falls back closing on the low. In simple, you have to understand that this is your upthrust. Okay, this is an Auro Pharma 30 minute time frame of the trading view terminal, and this is your upthrust action. So, what is upthrust? I already told you upthrust can be recognized as a widespread bar, okay, and with a very high volume and the close on the low. Okay, high volume and the close on the low. What is low? In simple, this is the high of the upthrust. Okay, in simple, this is the high of the upthrust, and this in simple, this is the low of the upthrust. Okay, and this is a 50% of the upthrust. Let's assume this is a 50% of the upthrust bar. And if the closing is below the 50%, it is meant that close of the low. Okay, that's what I mentioned right here. Upthrusts are usually seen after rising markets where the market has become overbought and there is a weakness in the background. In simple, you get upthrust on an uptrend. And at the same time, why you're going to get huge volume right here? there might be some sort of resistance right here or some smart money out there they might have uh, uh, had their limit orders being triggered right here okay they might have had the selling sell orders remit order might have been triggered right here or they might have booked their profits at these particular levels that's why there is a huge volume when there is a huge volume it is a clear sign that sellers are dominating right here why because look at the closing even if it is an up bar, even if market is going higher highs, the closing is on the lower side of the bar. It is a clear sign that is a huge rejection from the sellers right here. So that's why you're going to recognize that buying climax and upthrust. If you compare both buying climax and upthrust, I say that upthrust is way more stronger than buying climax. This is my own personal experience. Okay, you have to realize if I consider to trade buying climax or if I consider me trading upthrust, I would choose upthrust. Okay, because upthrust is a very strong confirmation in the form of sellers entries. Okay, now I'm going to give you some of the examples. And before that, let me just explain how to trade upthrust. Okay, in simple volume of the upthrust bar should be higher than the previous bar and the volume should be decent and the bar should be having a good selling tail. Same thing. Okay, volume of the upthrust bar should be higher than the previous bar. This is the previous bar. And the volume should be decent and the bar should have good selling tail. What is selling tail? In simple, this one particular high and low. Okay, this the closing is on the lower side, right, of the upthrust bar. And this entire area is considered to be from here 
to here okay this entire area is your selling tail okay you have to realize that now after the up thrust, the next bar should be a down bar for an entry. If we get an up bar, then the setup failed. If down bar, the setup passed. Okay. In this particular example, do we have a down bar right here? Yes. After a down bar, what happened right here? If you have taken a trade right here, market directly went down right here. So that's the power of up thrust. And third thing, the confirmation bar of the entry should have volume lesser than the up thrust bar's volume. Okay. Do we have the confirmation bar's volume lesser than the up thrust bar? absolutely yes okay so i'm going to show you one more one or two more examples i'm going to show you how important up thrust levels are in the form of uh, both intraday and positional now this is a intraday setup okay up thrust bar followed by down bar entry okay you can keep the stop loss on the 50 percent or above 50 percent of the thrust because sometimes what happens is that whenever you're having an up thrust sometimes market might hold for a little while and market might fall so you can keep the stop loss at 50 percent of the up thrust bar usually i keep on the higher highs because if my target is bigger definitely i keep the stop loss on the high of the up thrust okay now i'm having one more example right here that is ioc and this daily time frame is this the up thrust action don't compare this volume just compare this one particular let's assume that you're trading here and is this a up thrust market is on an uptrend and you got a huge spread okay and the closing is on the low of the up thrust and the volume is also higher than the previous bar. Okay. Is this up thrust followed by a down bar? Market fell down. Okay. The very good example. And right here, I have one more beautiful example right here. If you consider this as an up thrust, I don't think I would consider. Why? First thing, market is on a downtrend right here. Second thing, even if market went down right here, sometimes in VSA, we consider this one particular pattern as supply coming in. Okay, in simple, if there is an up thrust on a down, uh, in a downtrend, it means that there is still supply in the market, market might go still, you know, market might create a lower lows from the pattern. It's exactly same thing happened right here. Even it formed a up thrust pattern right here followed by a down bar. Some people might have entered, but I would not recommend it because it's not strong compared to a uptrend up thrust. Okay. So you can consider this as an up thrust. You can take your risk based on your risk management. Now I'm giving one more example right here to explain how important up thrust levels are. Okay. Now look at this one particular bar right here. Just assume that you're trading right here. Okay. This market on a uptrend right here. It has created a higher high right here. Let's assume that we have a huge volume right here. Would you consider this as an up thrust? Obviously yes. Even if this, uh, this is considered to be down bar, but I never given you in the theory also. In theory, I already showed you that I never mentioned right here. It has to be an up bar. I never mentioned that. But you have to realize right here is that whenever having an up thrust and if you got a failed setup right here. Why failed setup? Because the up bar right here. Okay. The confirmation bar is an up bar. Even the volume is lower than the previous bar. It's an up bar for intraday traders. It's a no from my side. Okay, but it doesn't mean that you have to uh, forget this one particular trade because this is an up thrust. Obviously, it's a strong up thrust. You can compare the volume right here. It is an ultra high volume. Even it might be a down bar. You should consider that it has a widespread bar. It is a low closing on the low of the bar. And at the same time, the volume is greater than any bars right here. And what I can do is you have to draw the high and low of the up thrust bar right here okay you have to draw like this this entire area becomes a seller's area until and unless the price breaks the high of the up thrust okay the entire area becomes a sell area now i'm going to show you one more example right here look at this what happened after that the entire area became a seller's area so if you're a positional trader out there who wants to take trades on a let's say if you're a stock option trader or let's say stock futures trader you should always consider the up thrust levels until and unless the up thrust levels break on the higher highs. It is still a seller's area and you can literally go for sell trades because right here, as you can see, according to me, my experience, the supply is increasing right here. Okay. The supply is increasing. Demand is reducing slowly right here. And right here, what happened? A lot of absorption happened. It is a clear sign that supply increased and market fell down. Exactly same thing. I'm going to show you one more example right here. Okay. Right here, this is an auto pharma 30 minutes time frame. And look at this. Is this an up thrust? Absolutely, yes. It's an up thrust action. Market is on a higher highs. 
and look what happened right here down bar and market fell down again after a while on the same levels you got a higher high okay comparatively if you can see about it i'm going to draw a level right here is this a higher high obviously you can consider it look at this you got another up thrust right here with the increased volume you got two up thrust right here it means that the weakness in the market is completely around these particular areas okay the weakness in the market is completely around these particular areas what you could have done is you could have drawn a high low of this one particular bar okay whenever you are drawn this particular bar this entire area becomes your sellers area right here okay you have to consider you have to take this until and unless the high of this one particular bar breaks this entire area is still a sellers area and smart money will react to these areas now let's see what happened after this one particular bar now look at this this is where i draw the levels high low okay of the uptrust bar and look what happened market fell down continuously right here okay market has created a absorption right here market has fell down continuously right here and again market even it came again i already told you that if the area has not been broken on the higher side you should always consider this entire area as a sellers area and guess what happened market hold it for a little while some buyers out there who have buyed around probably they might have buyed around these levels they are either booking their profits right here or some initial sellers initial sellers who are creating fresh orders on futures and option markets they might have started creating their positions right here that's why market fell down again from the same area so this is the power of up thrust i hope you know how to trade both intraday and positional right now intraday in simple if the up thrust confirmation bar is the down bar you can trade make sure the all the other parameters are correct and for positional trading you can use the levels for another trade usually okay sometimes you can create the sell positions after multiple confirmations and you can take trades based on any of the entries that you want so this is the up thrust action if you have any questions i'll make one more video if you want i'll completely explain again if you want how to trade up thrust and what is up thrust is all about i hope you explained i hope i explained every single thing right here and thank you so much and we'll see you in the next videos and if you have any queries regarding it you can directly message me via whatsapp and i'll answer each and every one of your queries okay thank you so much goodbye see you in the next videos